we're live. We have two likes and one viewer. We're live. Hey! How you going, guys? Orion Kelly, that autistic guy, joined by my son, Conan. Say hey, Conan. Would you like to say hello? Hello. Okay. Can you, can you stop saying your stupid name ever over again? That's what you do on a YouTube channel. Just, just say it once. Well, why can't I say it twice? You say it like you, last time you said it all for the video, and it's very annoying. But that's because people are joining constantly. Just they, let me say it, Ben. But when they, of your voice. Oh, thanks, mate. When they join, like during the thing, they they, they, they need the start again. Really? Five people and two likes. Oh, my God. Stupid. Okay. So... People can people can chat to us in the in the in the chat box. You can ask, you can say hey. You can ask us uh, eighteen. Oh, come on. You, you can ask us questions about the Christmas period, the holiday period. Just chill, man. Can people subscribe? What's that? I think people too. Like, what the? okay. <laughs> Why don't we encourage them? Yeah. Why don't we encourage them? Okay. Well, at the moment, um, the moment, not a lot of people are in the in the chat, in the top chat, or in the chat. So I've only, so we've got Carolyn. Carolyn says hey to both of us. Hello, uh, zombie spaceman. Hello. Hello. Uh, Catherine. Hello. Delta. Carol. Just so. Carol asked a question. What is F E A T feet? That's short, Carol. That's short for featuring. Um, you might see that a lot in in music, if you you know streaming services, they tend to abbreviate featuring defeat. Dad. Joe Dad. from Arizona, the Arizona desert. Get back! Is that is it? Tucson, Arizona. Is that the uh, twenty nine people and twelve likes? So, what do you want to say? One like, one like, one like equals more videos. So everyone who everyone who logs on, just hit the like button. Oh, good job. It helps. It helps Conan feel good. One, two, three likes. Three, three likes equals more videos, and more videos mean more questions. Good chat. And can we get that? You're yelling. It's a microphone. It's a. Can we get from? 19 to maybe 30 likes. Maybe. Lucille, hey, looking forward to the talk. Cool. Sarah, thanks for your videos. Thanks, Sarah. Um, Renee, not, not our mum. Not our mum. Uh, Renee, hello. Um, Sarah, hello. Kimberly, Merry Christmas from Texas. That's cool. Texas. Do you know where Texas is? Um, what country? America. Oh. It's a state. One, one more sin. One more sin. It's a microphone. It's a, microphones pick your voice up. Don't you, you lean in like this. You're not a pilot. Welcome aboard flight 1272. Uh, Christmas sweat. Who likes what's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, for goodness <laughs> sakes. Can you shut up with the Pokemon? No. You're killing me. I'm not doing it. Catherine, uh, our videos have changed her life. When she means our video, she means me. Um, bizarre. What do we got here? Bizarre elsewhere. Hi from New Mexico. That's cool. I enjoyed your last stream, Conan. They're here for more. I'm here for more you. That's very nice of you. They're the only one. Um, uh, I think this is unacceptable. It's not good. What's unacceptable? It's 45 people watching and 24 likes. That means that quite a lot of people haven't hit the like button yet. Remember? I'm not a pilot. Free likes. Equal more videos. You can so, only like the video once, though. So everyone has to like it once. You can't like it more than once. Okay. One like one like equals not more videos, and more videos mean more questions. Now that's good. Okay. Keep Fantastic. it up. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep up here, actually. No, I don't mean um, them. I, I mean they. Our side, Merry Christmas from you, the UK. There you go. See, I told you. The England, and it's really late over there. Um, what a twist, Stefan from Paris. Again, very late. Hey, from Paris. Angela, hey, hello. Um, Anyone talking about Pokemon? Twan, I think as I say, your content is great. No, no one's talking about Pokemon, thank God. Here we go. Um, 
passage from Europe, almost midnight. I'll tell them to Hey, someone them. from South Africa. That's cool. I'll tell them, I'll Kevin? Tell them. I'll tell them this time, like the video. Uh, What's that? No, no. Um, I think it's Twan wants to know like your favorite singer or your favorite band. You like Imagine Dragons, don't you? What else do you like? Would you, you don't want to answer that question, yes, Frank? do it. Okay, go. The night begins to shine. The night begins to shine. <laughs> yeah. He likes or, his... or Justin Bieber. 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 <laughs> it's a classic. The night now begins... can, it, can people start to talk about Pokemon? The night begins to shine is actually a. Uh, or man. What's that? I'm going to be out of here if people don't stop talking. It's a movie. It's a song from Teen Titans. No, there are. just I've got to get to them all. You're killing me. See, um, Renee Love says, got to catch them all. Good reference. Good reference. Kathleen. Hey there from snowy Missouri. So it's, it's winter over there. What have we got here? Who's from? Nicholas from Texas. Hey. Um, hey, so how's the weather? Um, Kevin is asking. I think he's in very South Africa. Good. It's um, very good. Late December. Very sunny. Oh, what a night! Uh, it's late December and it's kind of cloudy, but sunny okay. and beautiful. That's beautiful. It is. We've got the window open. You might be able to hear some kookaburras and things in the background. Um, happy holidays, Delta. Pokemon. I'm okay to ask a question now, or should I wait? To, no, no, you can ask questions when you want, Delta. Course. Anytime. Sarah, you guys really brought awareness to my family and friends. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Um, man, I'm really bad at uh, Martin Hughes. Hey, Ryan. Martin, uh, thank you for being on here, Martin. We, we talk a lot on email and things. It must be very late where you are, so I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. CS from Colorado, Rougley. Been watching our videos. Um, Ernestine Grace. Hey, again. See the, the, the nice little message there? Merry Christmas from Melbourne. Thanks, uh, Ernestine. Great to see you too. Thank you very much. And Merry Christmas to you. I really appreciate it. So say hello to Ernestine with words. Hello. Okay, great. Pokemon. Your, video, your videos have changed my life. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that. Um, Angela. So, you know someone just left the video? Who? It was, it was 15 on those left. Okay. Well, you better, you better stop talking about Pokemon then. Do something else. Pokemon. Okay. Angela, um, I did, uh, good job, uh, us two together. Selling California from Cyberfish. Um, oh, now Rougley just said Pika, Pika, and Rowan, you know Pika, you know what Pika means. Yeah, yeah I don't know what I want. Rowan Wait. just said Pikachu, Charizard, and Squirtle. Is it? Yep. Sure. And Kimberly just said Charizard. God, he's going through his book now. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. I'm trying to. Who said Pink? Who said Charizard? Okay, Paul from uh, Connecticut, USA. Hey, hey, okay, Paul. Ernestine is thanking you, by the way. Um, Kyle says Pokemon are pretty damn awesome. Uh, awesome too. Our side said Squirt. Is it Squirtle? Okay, that's B. You want to get which one are you trying to find? It's alphabetical. So which Blast Blastoise? Oh, sorry. My, my Squirtle, problems. a water type Pokemon, evolves into. Oh, War, War Turtle, Blast Toys, Mega Blast Toys. Is that right? Water Pokemon. I can't get half these words. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Water Pokemon. It would, it can beat Charizard in a battle. For water beats fire. There you go. Right. It's helping. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, there's more. Hang on, I got more. Um, uh, Striga says Bulbasaur. Keep going. That's B-R. You want B-U. 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 Mary, Mary from Liverpool, England. Uh, Nat. Hey, Nat. Hello. It must be early where you are. What, 6.30 in the morning? Amanda. I know nothing about Pokemon. It's likely they're speaking another language. Yeah, well, don't worry. This is not a Pokemon live stream. Is it, Conan? Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. It's a Christmas live stream. Bulbasaur evolves into Vinyasaur. No, hang on. Bulbasaur evolves into... Is that Ivysaur or Ivysaur, Venusaur? Yeah. Mega Venusaur. Venusaur. Okay. Leaf type Pokemon. Grass type. Yeah. There you go. All this Pokemon talks making my ears are sore. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Ears are sore. <laughs> it's <sighs> Laura Charlotte. G. Happy holidays to you, Laura G. Happy holidays, Laura. Just, just 
Can you just say happy holidays to Laura G? Hello. No, happy holidays. How many happy holidays? Laura G. Charm, Charm, Melanie finally caught a, li a live stream from Oklahoma. Awesome. Charizard, fire type. Conan should host his own Pokemon stream. I'm learning so much from Rowan. Well, he's reading a book, Rowan. I mean, don't give him too much credit. He's reading it out of it. But you want to do your own Pokemon live yes! stream? Great. Work it out for yourself. Um, Zero Journeys Official. Pokemon discussion. Nice. My family. My favorite Pokemon is like. Lice, li I can't say these names. Lichen rock or something. Lice, lice and rock. What's yours? Charizard, can you can you maybe spell so it, it it's out? Mid so it's midnight. I just did spell it out. I'll I'll spell L. I've lost it. It's so L hard to keep up with this. Here we go. L Y C A N R O C. This is supposed to be about Christmas. This is a live stream about Christmas. Whether you're with thanks, Ernestine, on the, the dad joke, though I take that, that's offensive. Um, L, 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 Y, L, Y, C, A. We're, this is welcome, welcome to spelling and Pokemon. A live stream designed to help you learn how to spell it and say Pokemon names. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, no idea. L, Y, L, Y. It's about to go M. Oh, okay. So we have to go back. Oh, he's doing that next. No, it's here. Here. He's a wolf. A Y wolf. Wolf Pokemon. Okay. That's cool. You cool heard of that Pokemon. one before? That's a cool. Never that is a cool Pokemon. I'm lost. I'm I'm stuffed. Next. Um, and it's midnight in South Africa, by the way. Happy holidays, Clayton. Um. Next. Now let's see, Delta. Pikachu. In the UK, Pikachu. going through a diagnosis of autism so far, it's taken five years, still on the wait list. Wow. That's insane. That is, <laughs> that is not good, is it? That's insane. That is insane. Um, there's a Pokemon. This is from Rowgly. There's a Pokemon called Delibird, Delibird. who is basically who is basically Santa Claus. That's weird. Um, mm -hmm. oh. And then Zero said wolf, um, uh, it's a wolf, lichen or lysen is wolf in Greek. Did you know that? Oh, nope. Um, yeah. What, what, did it, what was the first name of the, the Pokemon? Not the wolf, the other one. Hey, um, hey to, now, hey to oh, Aspie World. So this is, that's, yeah. And this is at this is the Aspie world. Hey, happy holidays to all. Though you know, the Aspie world is like a really big deal, and and we're not. So I, I don't believe that's really the Aspie world. Let's look it up. Does, see this guy here, the Aspie world. He's like really famous. He's like a really big deal, and we are not big deals. So there's no way that's the real Aspie world. I don't believe you can say it's you, but I don't believe you because he's a big deal and we're not. Like he's famous. Yeah. That's why I have a tick next to my name. Fair enough. Maybe it is him. So hate check of the it, Check it. I don't know. Is it Dan? It really is Dan. You are a big deal, Dan. Um, see it is. Okay, but we'll check him out. We'll work it out. Let's I work this out. This Aspie world. You want to see this guy? Well, I, will. I want to know if he's actually like him. No, he's a real. He's a real famous guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that guy. Is. Welcome back to the live stream of of uh, YouTube stalking other YouTubers to find out if they're it's really them. I'm your host. No idea. Um, the Aspie world. Here we go. Uh, I got... All right, here we go. This is him. What's his name? No, this, this is him. It says This looks like it's him. It is. That's the same picture. That's you the same are picture. correct. That's literally, I, I, I'm got him. I'm... Correct. So, uh, Dan, Aspie world, um, Thank you so much for coming on the live stream, brother. I know it's really late where you are. We really appreciate it. You know, one of the first ever autistic YouTubers, I probably the first autistic YouTuber I ever watched when I decided I wanted to make content um, was Dan. So in all honesty, Dan, um, thank you so much for, for everything you do. I know you've done it for, you've been doing it for so long. You inspired me. Um, when okay. I mean inspired, I mean I got your content and I ripped it off. What's that mean? <laughs> I didn't. That's not true. But no, seriously, man. Like, 
Um, hopefully we can connect and actually chat and stuff. That'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, so uh, the Aspie World, Dan, he's a mate. He's a really famous, cool YouTuber. I just made someone leave. What do you mean? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, but yes, yeah, great no, to connect, no, Dan. No, no, and, uh, hopefully we can connect um, again uh, more, you know, more directly because you're amazing. Do you know the person who just said who just left? Where? The person you just talked about. Dan. He's gone. No, he's not. He's right here. He's talking. Oh, well, now two people just left. So you're blaming me. Why would people leave? There's like a proper celebrity in the chat. They don't they don't care about my, they don't care about us. And you need to do something to get them back onto you because all they care about is Dan now. Uh, anyway. What? Well, he's famous, man. He's famous. Um, Let me on him. Let me no, on hang him. on. You've got to be nice to people. I'm saying you've got to be nice. You can't be rude. Um, M, Merry Christmas from Central Coast, New South Wales. I yes. Know, I know how to get the Mac. Thanks, M. Just let me get the Mac. Martin, he doesn't have a Pokemon. Uh, I have a chicken. She's a clever chicken. She's a mathema chicken. You see what I'm saying? What? Mathematician, mathema chicken. It's a joke. It's a chicken joke. Martin, you're killing us. No, just let me. Hang on, i gotta, I got to catch up. First, I want to talk. Okay. You're getting... Hey, calm your farm. Dan will never come back if you keep... Is that okay? Can everyone start to come back for for us? Please? I will send you an email, Dan. I will. Yeah. I just got to work out how to do it. Give us people back. And I'm, I'm really... You know, this is what I'm really happy about, by the way. I, just, I always say this on all my live streams. Lay off the egg. Lay off the egg? No, I do not. I've never said it once on my ice cream. No, um, I just want to say really. Lay off the biscuits. Will you give us a spell? I want to say is that this live streams are never about me. Live streams are about you guys, the autistic community, getting together in the live chat, connecting, saying, hey, you know, it's having enough, a chat. That's so, enough what he's saying. You're an idiot. I'm not. <laughs> Lay off the biscuits. I think that's funny. Mate. Anyway. Um, Lay off the. <laughs> oh, back off, dude. Back off. Gemma, hello. <laughs> Bang the table. So this is what I'm talking about. This is like, I, you know, you wouldn't get this from Dan. See, Dan, the Aspie world, you wouldn't get this kind of unprofessional, like, kid coming in and taking over stuff. You're killing me here. You nutcracker. Nutcracker. <laughs> Alyssa says, hi, Conan. Do you have any tips for younger kids trying to understand their autistic brain? I no, know. Be, this week got to be serious. No jokes. What? She's asked. This is a serious question. I know. Tips for kids learning about their... Um, no, I, 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 I. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, Dan, Aspie World, thank you, my friend. That, that's very generous. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, can you so imagine? If you want to look after a little kid... Dan, autistic. your family, me, my family, one live stream, can you imagine? Anyway, well, I appreciate it. Well, what I say it. was... Sorry, back to the question. What would you say to kids that you know to get used to their autism? That's what I was talking about. If you want to do that, I would no, hang on. calm them down. Can't, but you were saying, what can you tell kids who maybe don't understand, you know, what it's like to be autistic? Okay. What kind of things are helpful? Thanks, Dan. I appreciate uh, it. Friend. You're amazing. Uh, you're special how you are. You're special how you are. Okay, but uh, that's that's good. That's good. What other things do, do you, people, what do people just, tell you? Oh, no, good. Or just do people think like other people can't, like other people don't think, so it's kind of like a superpower. Okay. Um, Good. You know how we think di- we think differently. Thanks. Uh, all, by the way, lots of love back to you, Dan, my friend. Have a, an amazing um, holiday break. I know it's very late where you are, but thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, it's amazing. Um, yeah. So you're saying you can tell those kids. Yes, that's what they are. Enjoy. Good. Everyone say goodnight to Dan, the Aspie world. No. Say goodnight, Dan. Night, Dan. He's, uh, he's going to bed. Um, yes. But he's a, it's amazing to have him on this live stream. So we appreciate it. It means a lot, legit. You're, you're the man. Um, there's people are saying goodnight to Dan now. Um, now, what we what you were saying there was really good. You were saying that it's good to tell some kids they can look at their autistic brain or being autistic is not just being different, but like a superpower. Is that what you were saying? Yes. So you're, you can fly. No. Uh, you have lasers in your eyes. No, when I'm You back. can punch people through walls. When I when I meant was this, I meant... Because they can think differently, they have different emotions. Not Dan. They, not Dan. They have different emotions, and they can think differently. And that. Yep. Yep. yep that's and true. that. 
grateful for is some people don't have minds like we do because we have we are very clever. We can we will be able to we can we can yeah. feel emotions even stronger than anyone else can. Really? Is that true? That's cool. I mean, like you know how we can react a lot. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So, because we we are just people are different to everyone. Is they think differently, they act differently, they move differently, and they even and they're just very special how they are. So you should be grateful for what you have, and you should be grateful for what you are. All right, let's wait for the comments. What do you guys think of that? Just to be just so we're all clear, by the way, this is Conan. How old are you? Eight. Eight. He's eight. He's he's, he's autistic. He's eight. You so told that. that's personal, you know. No, no. What I'm saying is, you they have to understand. They've asked an eight year old a question here, and you've given them a pretty great question, right? So they have to understand. That's a really good answer for an eight year old, right? Don't you think? I'm a teenager. You're not a teenager. You're eight. Good grief! Why don't you lay off the biscuits? Um. So. You have to know why I'm saying you're stupid. What's that? I just, I just told them. Dad said you're stupid. I did not. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. They're, they're saying that's really great advice, buddy. I think you're very smart. So well done. Um, oh, yeah, can you find the um, licky tongue? Why? Because we have to prove that it's real, not a joke. It's not in there. Isn't it? Let's do it. L? I'll, L. Find, I'll find it. Okay. It's in the other one. No, it's here. It's here. Do it. Look, right there. What Hang on. the hell? Licky tongue. So we, we have to issue a personal apology, okay? I know that's actually not we, me. Uh, I'm issuing a personal uh, – I miss – I'm – wow. Can't talk. I'm – Let me do it for you. Dad is sorry about for what? Uh, calling um, Claire. Claire. From, from Woodshed Theory. Woodshed a liar. Woodshed Theory. A liar about Licky Tongue. It is true. She said last week her favourite was Licky Tongue. And I'm like, hey, good one. <laughs> good one. Well done, Claire. You got me, mate. You got me with your licky tongue joke. Yeah, that's right. There's a Pokemon called Licky Tongue. Sure, Claire. Sure, there is. But what what did you find in your book? Show it. That's the back of your book. There you go. We got Licky Tongue. It's it's true. My apologies, Claire, from the Woodshed Theory. He's not here, by the way. I don't think. Is she here, guys? I haven't seen her. She's probably busy. But um, I hope you, I hope you uh, saw our chat between me and Claire. We did a chat which was on, which got released earlier in the week on the channel. So thank you so much if you've watched it. Uh, if you haven't, it's, it's a great chat. You should go and check it out. And also, I'd say um, do your best to try and um, give us some love and give her a subscribe. Uh, she's got a goal of getting to um, five thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I think we can get her there. And I mean, in the end, all we're really doing is just showing her love and supporting us. That's that's awesome. Um, now, I think someone has. We have eighty-two people watching, and then fifty-five. Eighty-two people. What? Seventy-nine. Seventy-nine people watching. Fifty-six likes. What does that mean? We don't have enough likes. We need more likes. So if what? you if you are currently watching this and you haven't hit the like button yet, Conan would appreciate to hit the like button. He he's got this thing about numbers. The likes have to match the amount of people watching or at least be as high as. So he needs, I know it's strange, but just a numbers thing. So, yeah. Um, You're looking for distance. What's that? Oh, you, are you trying to do like a, a face to make him help? Okay. Um, you, you, don't, you don't have to like the video, but this is what you're doing to Conan. Don't laugh. Uh, uh, if you don't like the video, stop laughing. <laughs> I'm trying to get likes here. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> stop it. See what you're doing to him? Can you see what you're doing to him? Right? Can you stop it? <laughs> if you don't like the video, look what, you, look what you're doing to him. You're ruining him. He's horribly upset. Will you stop <laughs> laughing? God, help me. I can't stop. I need to look. Yeah, see? See, <laughs> if you don't like the video, you're giving him the feeling that he has no teeth and making. <laughs> Angela, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Angela. No one can resist this. Yep, many people can resist this. Okay. Yeah, see, look, you're making him very upset. He's sad. And also he's lost his teeth. <laughs> Get down. I know what to do.
free, free handy made. Hey, from Montana. Hey, back. Angel says we're awesome. Dad. Yes. Look. Can you get your legs, your knees down? You get your body down. No, but I'm saying it's on camera. Thank you. Yeah, that's not really helping anyone now. Um, mm. Zero Journeys official. Um, do what you want. You I'm before. new to the channel, but you guys are funny. Um, Michael in Ohio. Not as um, here, not as cold as Montana. Okay. Uh, Dad, why is no one liking it? What, liking what? It's higher. Like they, they don't have the ability. You can only like once. You can only like once. Just say what look at you doing to him. They're actually saying that it's the these faces aren't helping, but when you crack up, that was actually helping. What? Um, oh, so when you know, like be sad again. Sad. If you don't like the page, he's gonna be very sad, as you can see. And he eh, sad. <laughs> see, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Shut up. KG, <laughs> hey, from Oregon, love your content. Thank you so much. Appreciate you so much. Uh, Charlotte absolutely loves your shirt. I think she means mine, not yours, because yours is boring. Mine's good. Mine's like an Aussie. Ow! Mine's like an Aussie Christmas shirt, right? Daddy? <laughs> 85 likes, 76 people. So now we need more people watching to get more likes. Uh, do it again, do it again. Whitney, hello. Hey, Whitney, welcome, Whitney. Um, Eduard? Copenhagen, Denmark, awesome. You just didn't know you wanted to do this. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you can't keep, can you hit? I just wanted to do this. How aside, uh, what's to know our plans for Christmas? Our plans for Christmas are hanging here at home. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. We're not, that's personal. No, no, but no, no, plans for Christmas isn't personal. You don't tell them what, what I mean is we're not leaving, are we? Are we going on a holiday? No. No, okay. We're just staying at home, hanging out. It just does. Does that make sense? Amanda from Niagara Falls, Canada. No, no, don't be creepy. <laughs> don't be creepy. Can you do that again? <laughs> Lena is on holidays in Switzerland, but she's from the US. That's cool. All right, cool. Um, have you been to Niagara Falls? You haven't been to Niagara Falls. Have you? No. You know the last one we did. I reckon it went for over an hour, and you were you were answering lots of questions. But today it's only gone for twenty seven minutes, and you're starting to get like really um, nuts. Do you not want to do it? No, I like it. Well, we need to talk about stuff then. Um, and give me questions. Yeah, Kate. Kate Paul's like we're not going anywhere. What we don't want any hospital visits. Yeah, that's exactly exactly. Every time we go on a holiday. What happens? Someone has to go on a bloody ambulance or go to the hospital. Honestly and truly, stay put. You never know. What, you never want to know what happens to me. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was saying that Americans have been obsessed with Australia since Men at Work in the eighties, Crocodile Dundee, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. And now Americans are obsessed with Australia for a cartoon called Blue Blue Bluey. Bluey. How obsessed was that? Bluey's really big in America. How? I don't know. Do you like Bluey? No. Yes, you do. You and you and your brother watch Bluey over I and over. Like, I don't like it that much. Well, you do. Two but times I'm, more. Yeah, I get that. What I'm saying is America like Bluey a lot. They they find the humor. You know what they don't understand, though? Americans don't understand some of the words in Bluey. What does that mean? You know, like some of the words Bluey uses, uh, the, the like, family use. Like? Aussie, like American slang. You want to go through some American slang, some Australian slang words? Yes. Okay. What? what, what let's I find some. No, I know a good one. Hang on, it can't be. I didn't say swear word. No, I didn't say. I'm not going to swear. Okay. So what's what? When you say I'm going to go to the dunny, what does that mean? What does that mean? It's a, it's the toilet. It go. It means the toilet. Obviously. Do you have any others? Oh, yeah. I have the biscuits. What's a bin chicken? Ibis. <laughs> An ibis. 
An ibis is a real bird. But it's a bin chicken. You're a bin chicken. I'm a bin chicken. All right. What's a dobber? If you say if you say you're a dobber, what's a dobber? Can I can you tell me and I'll do it? What if I say you're don't give a dob? Well, you're a dobber. What does that mean? Don't stop debating. Don't tell on someone. A dobber is someone who tells on someone who, like, you know. You... Can you can you just grab me my ear so I can tell someone? So hang on a second. Am I? I know the bin chicken thing's a bit strange, but. Do Americans not know what a bin is? I think that you know what a bin is, right? Do Ameri- if you're American, do you know what a bin is? A bin, like B I N? Because that can't be confusing. Ernestine's watched my videos on stimming. Recommend any other any others, please. Mm, that's interesting. I I let me get back to you on that. My five-year-old girl, my five-year-old autistic girl loves Bluey. They translated in Danish. Now we'll definitely check out the English version, or you should, Jack. You definitely should check out the if you can find the original Aussie version. That's the, that's that's what I'm talking about. Um, um Dad, can you tell me some stuff, Aussie stuff, and I'll tell them. An ibis is a bin. Conan is right. An ibis is a bin chicken. Like, well, there you go. Oh. Thank you. How'd you know that? What are we? They yeah, run, so they, they 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 say run like. Bin chicken! Then they run it. They run on it. And a lot of times, if they make, if they like, they make a mistake or they they hit something, they go biscuits, don't they? Mm. Yeah, I know what Ramal Ramal is. Remember how um, I know remember this. Remember how one. Oh, time. biscuits! Remember one time Bluey were like, was like, hurry up! They were like hurrying up, but then they were like. Cole, bingo. A red. A dog. <laughs> Cole, bingo. Ring, ring, ring. And then, and then, you know, Bluey came up. <laughs> like, so, this is Mara. So, we worked at Dunny. If you're wondering, Dunny and Bluey. Dunny is like going to the toilet. Uh, and, and if you don't know what the toilet is, washroom, bathroom. I know you, you know, that's the thing about Americans, what they have. They call the place where you go to the toilet the, the bathroom. So no, I didn't know people go to the toilet in a bath. And the second thing is some of them call it a washroom. And, again, um, I've, it's called a toilet. I've been to the toilet and, and not often do I follow it up by washing. Um, I mean, you, they, in other words, what I'm saying is maybe you should change the title to wipe room. Um, where are you headed to? I'm going to the wiping room. The what? The wipe room. You know, the wipe room. The wipe room? Yeah, where you wipe. I mean, you wipe your head? No, but you see what I'm saying? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Forget about it. Uh, let's look at some other ones. You can tell me the next one and I'll just tell them. What are sunnies when you put on your sunnies? Glasses. Su- sunglasses. Yep. What about when as you've got to change your jocks? What are your jocks? Undies. Underwear. What are undies? Underwear. Underwear. Underpants. What's a bush wee? <laughs> what? Well, it's when you wee in the, in the grass. It's when you wee in the garden. Yeah. In the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're cheeky, what does that mean? Rascal. Amanda says she hopes we're washing our hands though. Yeah, yeah, okay. We wash you wash your hands after you go to the toilet. <laughs> so it's a what so it's a wash. Offensive. What you're saying is it's called a wash hand room. Is that what you're saying? Anyway, I get I get what you're saying. That makes sense. Um a lot of kids love a lot of kids have you know, a lot of kids love blue, a lot of family members are saying that. Restroom, Rowan says also it's called a restroom. It's a restroom. I guess you're taking a rest. I guess you're taking a break when you go to the toilet, but still. You don't often what you don't often go to the toilet because you feel like resting. You go to the toilet because you're you feel like going to the toilet. Bluey. Well, yeah, okay, fair enough. Next. Um, now, people don't know well, sometimes that like holiday is a vacation. That's a weird one. Um, how about if you call someone like mate? What does that mean? It means oi. Or maybe means like. It means a we. It means I said oi. No mate. It means your friend, right? Yeah, it means friend. Okay. Or best friend. Or what? Bestie. What about when you put on your thongs? What are they? Uh Crocs. Yeah, sh- uh, they're shoes, right? They go on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But in America, they call them flip flops. Flip flops. I'm going flip flop, flip flop, a flip beat flop, a flip beat flop. Biscuits, are, biscuits, are, they call them cookies. So they, they would go. They would be like, you know, oh. You know, something with like, oh, cookie. That's make a lot of sense. Oh, biscuits, much funnier. Now, how about um, when you have a Barbie? What's a Barbie? 
not the doll when you're like cooking. It's a barbecue, right? A barbecue. <laughs> and you know when you have you a, like my sense of humor. You know when you have a drink like at school out of the out of the, the bubbler? A fountain. A fountain. <laughs> What's a letterbox? Mail. Mail. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, actually, you know sausage dogs? I think they call them weeder dogs. You know, such a dogger. It's very strange. Anyway, I think that's Hot dogger. I think that's gonna that's gonna end our conversation on you slang. You have to put your legs down. Okay. Why? Look, your shorts are on the camera. <laughs> All right. Or come in close. There you go. All right. Yeah, here we go. So I think we've uh, I think we've kind of pushed through the whole bluey uh, bin chicken conversation here. Um Pokemon! More autistic questions. Uh, Richard said he's going for a tinny. See you later. Okay. Now what does that mean? There's a couple of things. A tinny, from my understanding, a tinny is basically um, it's a bath. A, a bath? No, it's a beer. It's a beer or a drink. And, you know, tinny because it's like in a can, right? But then. We just say drink. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I will normally say soft drink. You would say, but but he when he says tinny, he I think he means soft drink. He means like a beer, yeah. Let me just say beer. I'm going for a beer. Okay. I'm going for a beer in the bottle, beer bottle, like yeah, not you know not sharing, sharing. And what's um, what's a Chrissy tree? What? What's a Chrissy tree? A Christmas a, tree. A Christmas tree. Now you're you're knocking the 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 camera, so just. It's kind of Christmas. What about what about you know uh, what? What's under the Chrissy tree? You put prezzies? What are prezzies? Presents. Presents. Prezzies <laughs> under the Chrissy tree, mate. Put Grab your prezzy under the Chrissy tree. After you get... Okay, do you call... A tinny is also a dinghy or a boat. Um, that reminds me. Like, you can go... People can go fishing and they might use a tinny and that's like a word like a, you know, a word for like, you know, a small, a small little boat. Uh, and a dinghy, by the way, guys, a dinghy, I would class more as an inflatable boat. You know those inflatable boats? Um, and I don't mean like tiny little ones. I mean like you know you might you might see coast guards or whatever using like you know surf lifesavers that kind of stuff. So a dinghy is like an inflatable kind talk. of boat, and a tinny is like a non-inflatable kind of little boat. Can I tell you something? Yep. So. I hope that makes sense, Whitney. What do do you what do you call Santa in your country? Are you serious? Okay. Fair enough. What do you call Santa? Stand by. What do you call Easter Bunny in Halloween? They call they call it Halloween and the Easter Bunny. What about what no what what about Santa? Okay. Here we go. Do you say Santa? <clears throat> um not really. Most people oh Father Christmas. Do you know the Where are you looking? What are you looking at? It's, a, it's about to be an hour. No, it's not. 38 minutes. Okay. You're looking at the wrong thing, dude. It's here. 38 minutes. What's that It then? feels like it's been an hour, I'll tell well, you. What's that then? Up there. Mm. That's just the time. It says that it, it's currently Friday, the 23rd of December, Friday night, Saturday night, two sleeps to Christmas, and it's 9.59 a.m. Now, do you have... Stop kicking the table. Not being the do you have... Trunk or treat? USA. Trick or treat? So, no, they're saying trunk or treat. Uh, no, I don't have trunk or treat. What does that mean? You. <laughs> so, hang on a second. So, they give you a treat or you lock them in your, your trunk of your car? Is that what you're saying? What does that mean? <laughs> we call it a boot, by the way. And we, but in Halloween, we go around saying trick or treat. They give us candy and then we go. It's called trick or treat. Right? Amanda says, so because it's summer, your tracky dacks aren't getting much use. What are tracky dacks? Are they, are they track pants? They are. Tracky dacks are track pants. Tracky, we're both in shorts, so that's correct. Uh, and uh, it can be very, yeah, tracky dacks don't get a lot of work out in summer, that's for sure. But that's that's really similar all over the world, right? Um, now, hang on. I've got to work out this, this trunk or treat. It says, decorate your car trunks, which I believe car trunks are the boots. You know, we call them a boot. They call it a trunk. Um, and gather at a parking lot. Aha! So instead of going to people's houses and knocking on their door and going, trick or treat, 
you go to a parking lot um, instead. Okay, so let's work this out. Let's break this down. Again. Hang on, hang on. Let's break this down. So, so all right. So, so Conan, we can go around the neighborhood of people that we know. We can knock on their door and you know trick or treat and get lollies. Or I can take my uh, young child to a uh, a parking lot, uh, a parking lot full of strange people in their cars, and we can say, "Hey, can I have a look in your trunk?" And uh, your kid can can go, "Yeah, mate, great." And never seen again. That sounds safe. Is he joking, mate? No, they're not, unfortunately. Are you joking, mate? Am I joking? Trunk or treat? It sounds really, really horrible. Stupid. Not stupid. Stupid. Different. Not judging. Not judging. Definitely judging. Look, we could go to the neighbours we know, but you know what? I might just drop you off at a car park and see you in an hour, mate. If I can't find you, just knock on the trunk and I'll... I'll try. Yeah, I'm not too sure about these peeps. I think you might have to relook at that US suburbia. Don't go into that. Go into that phone and look up what is trickled. What, what the hell is that? And see they're lying around. Uh, they're telling the truth. I want to know though. Just, I want to know. You better not be lying. Okay. <laughs> they close the parking lot and it's usually set up by a community organization like a church, scouts group, police station. Not that sketchy, I promise. I believe you, Alyssa. I believe you. And, and let's and let's be clear in the history of sketchy Australia? things, in the history of sketchy things, police, scouts, and churches have never been included. What are you doing? All right. Apologies, um, Alyssa. Can you get your feet down? I can't. I'm with you. I get it. I get it. It's all good. We can't. Okay. Um, trunk or treats are popular and usually in church parking lots. Yep. I don't like them though. We always go door to door. Anyway. It's better. It's actually a treat. No, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find this hard to let go because it's a joke that I feel like I can do like a thousand times. But you know what? If, there, if there's anything safer than taking your kids to a parking lot with Can religious... You? With potentially religious or church strangers and and, and offering them lollies um, in dark place, in, then I don't know what there is. It's uh, wow, we. I want to take this opportunity to apologise. I just uh, sometimes I get jokes in my head and I can't let them out. And uh, damn it, anywho, um, my apologies. You know, there's seven, seventy people watching and ninety six likes. S Pit. You didn't miss it. You're here, my friend. 77 people, 96 likes. That's good. Yeah, but it's still not much people. It's, what do you mean it's not much people? That's a peep. Yeah, a lot. But How many people do you want? I want, I want to try to hit 500 by the end of the year. Did you say 500? Okay, we're not going to get 500. I people. want to hit I want to hit 200 by the end of the year. By the end of the year? We're not live streaming till the end of the year. Oh, yeah. This, this is, mate, you got you must be crazy. The channel, we're doing, we're doing every single time. You, we can do an end of year live stream next week before New Year's Eve. Is that what you mean? Mm. Okay. Next end of year. We're 70, there's 79 people currently watching. There's no way we can get to 100, let alone 200 people currently watching. So I appreciate that yes, you can. How is that possible? How, how can you go from 79 people watching to 200 people watching? In I mean 100. How can you go from 79 to 100 in space of a few minutes? It's not possible. Literally every single person on this chat, literally all 79 people currently watching this would have to share this to social platforms and friends and family okay, and say, just click on it just to make the kid happy. What is that yeah. then? Why is it 81? Everyone, everyone who's currently, okay, so all 81 people watching, uh, and that includes, let's let's say 10% of, of people that are literally um you know, literally here just to just to, just to watch. Um, tell people, tell your friends, tell your fabs. So it's gone down to seventy six. We're all stuck. Who did that? They did. Why did you just? Why did they do that? They're saying if they're watching with their kids, there might be even more people watching. That's good. That's true. Uh, and and some of them don't actually have friends to tell, which is very similar to me. Um, they can just tell your grandma to do it. Tell your what? <laughs> Grandma. 
on a video on YouTube, someone said, get your grandma to subscribe. Get your grandma to subscribe? <laughs> get your grandma to subscribe and the grandma to <laughs> watch the video. Well, depending on where they are in the world, what do you think's going to happen? <laughs> well, they're going to go and wake up their grandma. Their kid. Their grandma's sleeping. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> What are you going to do? Wake up. You know, Hello, Grandma, wake up. Oh, what do you want me to do? Get on the iPad and turn on YouTube. What's YouTube? 82 likes. Get your grandma to describe all the pet of the boy, or the boy will go wham where. The boy will go wham where. <laughs> and he'll never come back. Okay, so get your grandma to describe and like this. What you're know. basically saying is, if you have an an elderly person in your life, wake them up in the middle of the <laughs> night to watch some douchebag on YouTube because he wants to have more people. It doesn't make any sense. Do it all this. Oh, I'll, I'll throw myself out of the window. Well, hang on. Anne says she's a 77 year old grandma, so she's here right now. Bring your grandma to work day. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, get the chicks to subscribe <laughs> and actually start go out of the video and get more people. Okay, then get your great great grandma to come. <laughs> and to subscribe. And but, to uh, there's watch. another grandma, B13, and subscribe. She shared this to Facebook. Um, Please then join the video then. It's, it goes, it's going down. It keeps going down. The chances of getting 100 people watching this <laughs> right now are astronomical. Get Thank your grandma to subscribe. Leave your grandma alone. <laughs> Get your grandma to subscribe. Can you stop subscribe. hitting? Oh, stop hitting oh, the table. Oh, oh. Get your grandma to subscribe. Do we? Um, do we decorate our Christmas tree in Australia? Yes. Why you ask? Don't answer like that. Don't be so rude. Yes. It's a genuine question. Get but your grandma to subscribe and join. <laughs> Hey, uh, Kimberly's asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Now, they, now stop joking for a second. Serious question. Actually, don't know what I want put to your be legs, right. Okay, put your legs down. Serious question. If you don't actually know, what are some of the things you think you'd like to be? I actually don't even know what I want to do. Yeah, but you do. I want to do anything. Okay, well, let's go through the list, some of the list of things you told me you'd like to do. Maybe I might want to be a zoologist. A zoologist? A what? A what? A police? Zoologist. Police. Police. What else? Yeah, sure. A Pokemon trainer. YouTuber. A YouTuber. YouTuber. And that's it. You, I don't think YouTube is a job. Yes, it is. Unless you're the Aspie world. You get money. You get money. <laughs> no, not not uh, not live not to live on though. You're not you're not the Aspie world or Mr. Beast or whatever. Who's Mr. Beast? Oh, he's a YouTube guy that's like worth. Many, many money. I know. I watch his app. I watch him. Mr. Beast? No, you don't. Yes, I do. You've never watched Mr. Yes, Beast. I've never allowed that. Yes, I did. How have you watched it? On YouTube. With who? Not with me. <laughs> By yourself. By yourself. But it's locked to like your age group. Mr. Beast. What does he do? No, don't go anywhere. Parkour, epic stuff. He even does this. Sometimes, like, he even, you know. Plays, this is not an ad for a billionaire who has enough people. He's, the man's got 100 million subscribers. It's not an ad for him. Good. But I, I watch his videos. Okay, about, well. I'm um, like him and his friends doing like hide and seek and all those types of stuff. New Mexico, USA, and friend, Bob. And hey, his, Bob. Sometimes he swears. Emily. Hey, Emily. Okay, that's not good. Uh, freehand, he says, uh, zoologists would be, would be so cool. I reckon I agree with you, right? Handmade Darcy talking about how, um, you know, older people are very tech savvy. Get grandma to subscribe. It, it's a, it's just humor. We're, we're just joking around. We're no, I'm around. not. I am not get your grandma to subscribe, literally. You can't wake up your grandma in the middle of the night. She might not have had even the internet going. I mean, okay. Well, then get your mom to do it or your dad or your See baby. you, Alyssa. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Have, have a great dinner. Um, Okay. Get the baby to do it then. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, uh, Lynn is. She says, uh, Lynn says, they are a marine biologist. That's cool. Okay, then get married. a marine biologist. Is pretty amazing, man. I think. Okay, get that. Then get the animals to subscribe. 
<laughs> what is it here? Marine biologist. Okay. Or she's going to go into the ocean and get animals to subscribe on YouTube. No, How's that possible? No, just grab, grab what you're watching on and just face it to the glass next to the animal so the animal can just see it. What happened to you? You've lost it. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's go like, dude. Oh, my goodness. All right. I, I think we better stop the live stream because I think you need a break. Are you sure? Are you going hey, to you gonna be serious? Not serious, not serious, but are you going to actually listen? What, what, do you, what subjects do you like at school? Someone asked. Nothing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Except yeah. for YouTube. YouTube isn't a subject, mate. Now it is now. <laughs> Maybe it should be. Maybe a content creation should be. Um, okay. And the boss of the United States of America. The what? The United States of America. You've gone over 100 likes. That's good. That, you made 100 likes. I want more people. But you, you're not get, <laughs> so you're not going to get over 100 people watching at once, buddy. 100 people. Sorry? 82 is a lot. I'll do a people. As someone said, um, Striga said their favourite subject in school was lunch. <laughs> See what I'm saying? If, if, if we can get up to tw 20, 20 people, 20 likes. 19 more. Um, 20. Hang on, you want people watching or likes? Likes. Yeah. Then I'll, then I'll shut up. And we we'll, and we'll, and we'll, don't have to get Cheryl, hi from the UK. Likes. So get me more likes or I'm going to have to do it. Lena's favourite subject in school was orchestra. That's cool. Yes, that's you used to learn guitar, right? Still do. Well, if you class going to school not I learning mean, piano, guitar. I learn guitar. piano, you know. You learn piano. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, doing yeah, That's not 20. Happy holidays from California. Off to work now. Wow. Have to be off to work now. That, that's a late start, right? Anyway. Are you a hospital? Lena loves piano. Sorry, what's that? I do you work for the hospital or what? <laughs> I just got to quickly do a thing, okay? Uh, hello again, everybody. Just so you know, I Ryan Kelly, that autistic guy. This is Conan, my son. And thank you so much for watching this live stream. We really appreciate no, it. We're not stopping it. It's a Christmas live stream. If there's any kind of uh, you know questions you wanted to ask us about really anything. Uh, my son's here. That's fine. Go right ahead and we'll do the best to try and answer them as much as we can. Don't forget, as always, to everyone watching, this isn't about us. This is about you guys. So please use the chat window to, um, to connect with your autistic community, make some connections. And I, I'm, I'm, I always do my best. Don't do that. I almost do my best to um, make sure there's a replay, a chat replay. So when you watch this back, you should be able to see all the chat again and connect with everyone. Um, okay, here we go. What do we got here? Nicole, hey, hey, Nicole. Um, Leona's working on becoming a train driver. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Will you cook Christmas goodies together? What will we cook? To, or we are going to make a house, right? Gingerbread house. Gingerbread house. We're not making. We're not going to cook candy. Sure, that's what that one is. Just, every time you hit the table, you knock the camera. That was the man. Are you excited about the holidays? Can you please not touch me with your hand? It's kind of weird. I'm touching the chair. Bethany, hey, from Oregon. And our, uh, Bethany's currently in an ice storm. Uh, what does that mean? What does an ice storm mean? I'd say it means it's a storm uh, made of ice. What do you think it is? I'm out. Okay. Where are you headed to? I'm out. Because if it's ice storm, I'm not going to, I don't want to get killed. You're going to get killed. I thought we said there's an ice storm here. I think an ice storm is pretty bad. It's pretty dangerous. So make is sure here? Bethany needs to be safe. Uh, no, not here. Is she, in a, is she in the house? Dude. Is she in the body house? Ice storms are bad. They're dangerous. Like she in She's in America. You should be saying, I hope, you, I hope you're safe and saying, you know, be nice to her, not hiding away. Anyway, there's also an ice storm in be Washington. Safe. In Washington. There you go. House is a nice storm. We're pretty safe. In, we're pretty safe down under. That's for sure. Well, here where we live. Except for earthquakes. Uh, Chrissy has to go to a Christmas party. That's funny. Chrissy has to go to a Chrissy party, and there's people that I don't know. I get anxious because I don't know how to talk to them. You don't talk to them. That's what. That's my advice, Chrissy. 
I mean, I get what you're saying. You know, this is the problem. These kind of things. There's... Can we just get? A, can we start to just talk about nothing? Alex was in a sandstorm once. So you, what? Happened? Are you okay? Or you're dead? North America is currently experiencing a polar vortex. What does that mean? Do you know what a polar vortex is? No. Okay, well, I don't know exactly what it is. What I do know is that, in effect, there's like this large body, like large body of um, right. super cold air, right? And it can kind of encapsulate or move across a large part of the country. And my understanding is the polar vortex uh, over North America or America is actually so big at the moment that it's even cold in Florida. That's my understanding, though. I do live in Australia, so I should know this kind of stuff. But it's like this massive. It's like if you looked up and there was this kind of like this, almost like a looking into the eye of a storm or something, but it's like super cold air. How do you get rid of it? Oh, you can't. You just have to wait for it to move. It's a, it's, it's, it's the weather. When, but, will it go away eventually? Um, does it even, I mean, does it disappear eventually? Polar vortexes? Everything has to go. Yeah, of course. And you know what? I think yesterday... So you might class this today, but yesterday in America, or sorry, yesterday in the Northern Hemisphere, it was the winter solstice. What does that mean? So that means that, that that means that they had the shortest day of the year, and that means from that day on, the sun is coming back around to them already. So we're in the middle of winter, right? We've got January and February left of summer. We've got January and February left of summer. So that means that the sun is currently closest to us, the Southern Hemisphere but it's slowly but surely going back around to the Northern Hemisphere because they've, they've had their winter solstice. Yes. Freehand said, that, yes, that well, is correct. It's a huge sun. winter storm covering half the US right now. There you go. Record temperatures. Basically, um, all the air out there that normally lives in the Arctic Circle, here we go, the air from the Arctic Circle slipped off the top of the Earth and fell on Canada and the USA. I bet. I bet. Um, the jet stream is taking a huge dip. See, this is the problem, right? That's pretty cold, man. Then hide. Happy summer solstice to you guys. You know what? I don't actually remember them. This is the funny thing. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not. Summer. This is the funny thing. You guys celebrated the winter solstice, I think, in the Northern Hemisphere. I think yesterday or today. But my understanding is we did not celebrate or, or mark this the summer solstice. In fact, I don't think that happens for quite a while. Now, why is this so? If it is, if that is the case, and I'm pretty sure it was not the summer solstice down under in the southern hemisphere. If that's the case, I think that's because we start seasons on a calendar month. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that the northern hemisphere starts seasons not on the calendar month, as in December one is the start of winter, or December one is the start of summer. Does that make sense? Um, we start. We start. Yeah, no. Summer, I, I, summer zero. I agree with him. Amanda saying, "Don't remember talking about it." Yeah, I don't believe we have. It is the summer solstice, which is really interesting. It's not. I suppose it's not. Do um, you know Hawaii is erupting? What? Hawaii is erupting. Hawaii's volcano Kilauea is erupting. How do you know? You can't say that on YouTube. It's not true, though. Kilauea. It is. How? Who told you? I'm before school, like the last two. You've got to put your legs down, buddy. I'm sorry, but it's showing on the camera. And last it's two weeks. Personal. Last two weeks of school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you looked it up. You did research at school. Oh, no, what is it? My YouTube time. Last Beth, two, Bethany. It just came up. Beth, out of nowhere. Hey, hey, Bethany just said Hawaii does have two active volcanoes currently. Told you. I thought Hawaii has active volcanoes all the time. Not just currently, but I get what you're saying. Mauna Loa, also known as Kilauea, is erupting in Hawaii, in the Big Island. Someone said summer solstice was yesterday. I'll be Not damned. No, I mean, that, you can't call them liars, dude. Didn't check. So we are calling. So well, don't pick your nose. They're, 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 they're watching this for 50 years. You want to pick your nose, just go over there. Take a tissue. You know it's nearly been an hour. Yeah, we'll better finish. Don't worry. Take the tissue. No, 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 over there. I can see you. Here, here. No, no, no. Face the face the other way. Good grief! I can still see you. Oh man. Okay. So we're not going to call them liars, but you want us to look them up. Therefore, call them liars and look it up. So we'll look it up. I want to know if it's true. I'm trying to tell you, dude. You think it's true? 
Yeah, it is true. How do you know? The summer solstice happened on the 22nd, so the winter and the summer happened at the same time. You're still picking your nose. I told you to turn around. I am. Okay. The summer solstice occurs once a year in December when the sun's track across the Australian sky reaches its highest point. It is it is the day that is the most daylight hours of any in the year. The summer solstice usually occurs on the 22nd of December, but can occur between the 21st and the 23rd. The winter solstice is the day of the year with the least amount of daylight hours. Usually occurs on the 22nd of June in Australia, usually between 21st is and 23rd. Can we leave now? Okay. It's 10 o'clock. Can we just finish some of these points? You can go and I'll finish up. You want to leave or stay? I don't want to leave. I just want to stop it. Okay. You want to have a candy cane while we finish it? No. Okay. Here we go. All right. We'll finish this up because you want to go. All right. Solstice comes from the Latin word stopped. There you go. Um, Arctic blast. Bethany says it's okay to pick your nose, mate. That's fine. It's a, it's a, appreciate that. Um, Nicole. Uh, I want mine. She loves my parenting style. Is that what you call it, Nicole? <laughs> it, was a, it was not. Um, Leona, what's your zodiac sign? If you're asking me, I, I don't know. I was born in October, uh, October 19. What's your zodiac? A star sign. Do you know your star sign? No. Okay, great. Um, Some is a corn cob. Alex agrees. I'm an awesome dad. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Appreciate that. Um, I already finished YouTube time. So why is it? It should need time by now. Yeah, so we have experienced summer solstice. We just didn't realize it. Libra, okay. Um, 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 okay. Oh, thanks, Nat. I'm a librarian. Sorry, I think I, I think I said that wrong. Dad? I don't collect books. I do collect books, actually. Libra. I have to. I'm so enjoying. Uh, have to what? Um, do I have to do... Minecraft? No, what do you want to do? I don't need any time. Okay, so you pick a game and go play it. And then I'll, 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 I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't don't go anywhere. Um, you pick a game. Okay, and you play it. I'll, I'll just finish this up. Okay. All right, then. So we... I don't want to. I don't want to miss people that I haven't been able to get to. But it's very hectic when I'm trying to do a live stream with Conan. I'm sorry, I apologise about that. But I do thank everyone for watching and hanging in there. It's always really hectic to try and get my stuff together here. Um, Gem, believe Librans are fair and just. Okay. SK72, when will you be releasing new podcast episodes of My Friend Autism? Um, well, look, um, let me show you. All right, SK72, see this? I'm not joking when I say this. These are unrecorded. These are unrecorded podcast episodes. I don't know, there's, there's, there must be hundreds of pages here. Unrecorded podcast episodes. I mean, there's a lot of paper here. There's a lot of paper here. And I really want to do them. And the problem is I just don't have enough spoons Um I just don't have it in me at the moment. I'm I'm putting so much time and effort into into the YouTube channel, into live streams and videos and um, you know the comments and interacting that I find it very. I'm just finding it really hard to be able to do be a dad and a husband and also record podcasts. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot, and I, I'm struggling. Um, but I've got a lot ready to go. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, I'm struggling. Not self care is not my thing. Um, yeah, that's right. Japan never work with children and animals. Um, but yeah, it's struggle. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, going to look up the spoons thing after the live. I'm burnt. So look, I, sorry. Okay, I can quickly mention it, um, Emily. It's it's I don't think it's my favorite way of describing it, but most people get it. So I think what they and so that's why I'm not very good at explaining it, but I'll try. This is not my favorite thing. Uh the Coke bottle theory is probably a little bit more my kind of thing. Um 
I'll show you what I mean. This is, this is what I've done in the past. Let's see. Um, what have we got here? Right, so you, okay, so this is a really bloody horrible. You get it? Okay. Mate, don't forget to close the door, okay? All right. You get a bit of paper. I'm not going to do it because I can't find a bit of paper I don't need. You don't want me to rip up a podcast episode, so I'm not going to do it. So I don't. I can't help you with a bit. I'm looking. Okay. Get a bit of paper. Every time there's a demand or a task or something in your day to day life, you scrunch the paper. Okay. At the end of the day, you you unfold the paper. You flatten it. There's no. It's it's completely creased. It's no longer a piece of paper. It's still a piece of paper technically. But it's completely creased. It's and you can't fix. You can't flatten it out. Okay, that's that's how you can be at the end of a day. Now, so you know, I need a clean, crisp sheet of paper to record podcasts. By the end of the day, I don't have that. The spoon theory. Okay, let's say you wake up in the morning and you have you have um, I don't know ten spoons, and every task you do, every uh, sensory issue you have, everything that you know you you have as a as a um, I guess from the point of view of um, Challenges with communication, sensory stuff, you know, you, you you have to give up a spoon, okay? So, like, if I've got to do things like shower, 22-step process, shower and get dressed, brush my teeth, you know, you're taking a couple of spoons. I can't get those spoons back, right? By the end of the day, I've got no spoons left because I've gone through all these tasks, sensory overwhelm, demands placed upon me, uh, conversations, phone calls, God help me. I'm giving away these spoons, right? By the end of the day, there are no more spoons. I have no spoons left. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and if I have no spoons left, I can't achieve things like make podcasts. So if I've got to do podcasts and videos and um, all the other things that go with it, make other content, shorts and, and comments and those kind of things, there's only so many spoons. They all cost a spoon at least, some a couple, right? There's only so many spoons I have. So I can't, I, I, I can't spend more than I have. Does that make sense? So that's the spoon theory. And I don't, I don't mind it. I just don't, it doesn't resonate with me as much as like the Coke bottle theory. If, if I've done two videos on the Coke bottle theory, it's, you know, you have these things, having a shower, communication issues, social issues, these kind of things. You shake the bottle, right? You shake it once, not that much damage. But every time you shake it, because you've had, you know, you have these challenges, if you're going to open the bottle, it's going to go everywhere, right? Same with the, the bit of paper. You, if you scrunch it once, no, no, you can smooth it out, no worries. But if you scrunch it every time, you're not going to be able to make that paper go back to crisp, clean, crisp. It's not going to smooth out. It's done. It's a, it's, a, it's the, you've used the paper all day, but now it's in, it, it's got to go out of the bin. So I hope that kind of makes um, some sort of sense. That's, that's kind of my best way of putting it. Um, AC enjoyed my thoughts on the movie Dear Evan Hansen. Curious on your thoughts on the movie, on the movie Kimmy on HBO. I haven't seen that. Um, I'll have to look into that. Um, Communication and sensory issues take the most spoons. Well, yeah, and definitely demands and things. Mental and physical activities, Nat says, um, uses spoons. Um, thanks, Tammy. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to check out that, the, the Kimmy. But, yeah, the Evan Hansen thing is really is really interesting. It's a whole different tangent. But the, the, my, my thing about the Evan Hansen thing is, like I absolutely adore the soundtrack. Like I absolutely love the soundtrack. I love the songs. Like I love, I'm obsessed with that soundtrack. It's just a really great soundtrack. But it's funny because I, I I got the soundtrack before I'd seen the movie. I clearly couldn't see the Broadway show in Australia. So I'd never seen it. I just heard it. And the songs were just amazing. They crazy resonated with me. It's almost like these songs are made for like autistic people, you know, waving through the window and these kind of words fail and they're like honestly and but then when i kind of saw it i realized well this is um this is weird is this dude is this dude like using autistic traits to help him with his character but the character's not known to be an autistic person or is he using autistic traits to kind of because it helps him come across as anxious or i mean as you just, just when I watched the movie, and it was a problem they cast him. They cast the guy from the musical, which makes no sense. There's two reasons. The first thing that makes no sense is because the kid, the kid needs to be a kid, and he's not a kid, right? Like he's a 
It's a full grown man. He's not. Like, this is in the sixties. Like we can we can find kids that can sing and act, right? That's the first thing. The second point is it's because no one can sing the songs like him. No one. No one can sing the songs like him. The dude from the Broadway musical that starred, that played the same role in the movie, no one can sing the songs like him. He is untouchable. The man, but that's the thing, the man. The man's got an incredible voice. It would, it would bum me out to hear other people sing those songs. But that's not the point. A movie isn't about the voice. A movie is about the performance, right? So, you know, I personally don't think there's anything about Hugh Jackman that is astoundingly amazing with regards to singing. But I think as a musical performer, he's amazing. There's no one near him because he can, he can sing great for movies and he's an amazing actor. I mean, I know he does musicals and he's got a great voice. What I'm saying is though, it's not like he's famous for being a world famous singer. He's famous for being a world famous performer or actor. There's a difference. Anyway, I'm not sure if he wrote it or, um, it was a family-based thing. It's a good question. I don't, yeah, I don't know all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I, I, I it, it was a really conflicting experience, and it, and I think that's what probably made me a little bit um, agitated by it. It's like when you love music, and then something happens, and it totally changes. It, it can make you really upset um, and agitated. Anyway, so. You can't just take characteristics of autistic people to make your character better if your character isn't an autistic person. It's just like that's coding. That's not appropriate. But, yeah, let's see. It's so strange how this how this chat works. Like, you know, on YouTube, there's a chat window and some messages, they get held for review and I've got to read them and then, like, you know, put them up. And this is one that's just been given to me, right? This message is held for review. It's from Nat. We need more autistic actors. Now, what in the hell is offensive about that? Why do I have? Why does YouTube think I have to review a message that literally just says, I'll, I'll show it, we need more autistic actors? Jeepers, creepers, that's controversial. We better check that. God help me. Anyway, it's up now, Nat. Um, but anyway. I prefer to use a phone battery metaphor. I'm an iPhone 6 that never quite charges and runs out too fast. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because that's it's that's because it's an iPhone 6, right? And every phone is designed to slow down and have worse battery life once new models come out. <laughs> yeah. Um, SK72, last thing you need is more misrep misrepresentation of autism media. Exactly. I liked Atypical on Netflix. I watched Atypical. Atypical was kind of cool. I, 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 I was conflicted on Atypical. I think it was kind of cool. Um, I agree. But it was, it was many things that were wrong with it. But I agree. It was. It was. It made. It seemed like it made more of an effort, though. It was still pretty bad with regards to genuine representation. It's not that hard. But I agree. Um, S. Pitt, I love that Daryl Hannah and Dan Aykroyd have gotten official diagnosis. Um, everybody is busy wrapping presents. Here's another example, guys, of a, of a, of a, of a comment that it's held for review. I think Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory is autistic. Now, What's controversial about that? Why does that have to be reviewed? That's a comment. It's just a comment. I'm not going to answer your comment. It's just a comment. You think good, good on you. You think that great. Sometimes you need more than one sleep to replenish spoons. Oh, yes. I would love to see more representation of high masking. 
non-intellectually disabled women. It would help a lot of people in their journeys. Yep. Okay, Nicole, that's that's really interesting. High mask. Well, you know what's really interesting is high masking and and women or high masking and autistic women is very much the norm because you know we as we found that uh, autistic women seem to be extraordinarily fantastic at camouflaging so that high masking just means you know like i just said bloody great at camouflaging suppressing blending in fitting in I don't. So you're saying your Nat is trying to say there's no such thing as high masking. It's just masking. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. Based on the premise that everyone, everyone has different subtleties. There's a different level there. You can like, okay, put it this way. I can mask for for my family, and I can mask for strangers, and it might not be the same level of masking. That might be kind of what we're trying to get at there. But yeah. Are there any video games specifically designed for autism? That's a great question for the community. I mean, if you're asking me with my experience, well, I don't necessarily know if that's advertised, but obviously my son loves to play Minecraft, uh, Pokemon, those types of games. Uh, yeah. Um, autism on the inside has a live event now also that is about women and masking. Cool. Well, make sure you... Boil an extra big pot of coffee so you can stay awake and you might want to check that out. Huh? All right. Green thumbs. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to Ryan and all. Yep, thank you, my friend. Uh, AC talking about that Kimmy show. Kimmy never explicitly states that Angela is autistic. So Nat was saying that it's not mentioned in research. Um, yeah. So you're taking me down the wrong. You're taking me down the wrong alley there, Nat. I don't give a shit about research. I couldn't care less if it is or isn't researched. I don't care if someone was seven degrees research. It doesn't. It's that's that's fine. That has a place. But autistic people don't don't answer to non-autistic, not you, I'm not saying you, but autistic people don't answer to or live their life based on the premise provided by non-autistic academics telling them what they what they need to believe. In fact, I would say that probably 99% of all current research based on autism or autistic people or the autism field is, is uh, manifestly inappropriate, um, manifestly inadequate and mostly misguided. Um, and we're talking about we're talking about non-autistic academics who kind of sit around in a room and not you, Nat, and talk about topics and ideas they want to discuss, and, and it's, it's just a, and and then take money from you know to do it. And yeah, so I've got a big I've got a big issue with research in the autism field at the moment because it doesn't incorporate enough autistic people at all levels, not just at the level of research, but the researchers and the people coming up with the ideas and the supervisors and all those types of things. And I, I, I'm not trying to offend anyone here, but um, if someone wants to say they think there's, you know, there's different degrees of masking, and that's not based on any research, but the fact that they're an autistic person, their own experience, I think that's uh, that that's valid. Um, but again, this is not about anyone on this topic, not about Nat, not anyone. What I would say is, um, this isn't a joke when I say that the current um, research landscape, the academic research landscape regarding to autism and autistic people is in fact um, utterly irrelevant and I know that I you know I come across I can come across a bit agitated and gruff but these are the, these are the things that push me not you guys um, these academic these non-autistic academics that want to tell me when I'm right and wrong um, that go home and they clock off the autism right they they go to work, they do that little autism research and they go home and they clock it off. Like, there's no clocking off autism if you're autistic. And, yeah, I, I, there was, you know, there was a, a research piece earlier this year that came out in Australia about 
the whole thing was um, self-compassion. So they took government money, presumably, and they legitimately did an entire research project, potentially over a long period of time, with you know, with many people in, in invested and paid to do it. And about self-compassion, the, the bottom line was the idea of autistic people and self-compassion and the importance of that. And you know, and I'm sure it has its good and bad things, but this is this is a case in point of how ridiculously stupid the majority of uh, research is in modern day Australia and in the modern day world. Oh, here's the hot tip, guys. Give your money back to the government and, you know, send your researchers on the way. I'll help you guys. Here's the hot tip. Self-compassion helps everyone, moron. It's it's a, oh, really? Self-compassion could help the mental health and autistic person? Really? Could it? <laughs> Let's tell autistic people. <laughs> guys, you should be nicer to yourself. That'll help you. <laughs> Really? Thank God for researchers. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, here's an idea. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Dad, yes. I, okay, I won't overreact. Apologize. Why are you so annoying? Bad research. It's fine. Go back. Let's see. Let's see. Autistic people. Why would autistic people have trouble with self-compassion? Let's see. Okay, so we're different. We're living on a world that's different to us. We have a different brain. It doesn't really get go on well with people. No one really accepts us. People either, you know, push us away, you know, abuse us, outcast, you know, whatever. So basically every every impression we have of ourselves on planet Earth is negative, you know, whether it's abuse or just, just being, you know, uh, rejected or forgotten. Okay. So what kind of self-compassion would manifest in a person who has never been accepted, understood or appreciated by society? What kind of... Why would there be, let's see, why would there be an issue with autistic people and self-compassion? Let me think. Let me, th oh, that's right. So maybe the research project should have been how can non-autistic people practice more compassion for autistic people? Maybe that's a better research project, but that doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't help, does it? Oh, when your son, when your eight-year-old son comes in and tells you you've got to calm down, you know, you know you've... Um, pushed one too many buttons anyway this is where i apologize i apologize sorry nat sorry everyone i have gone off i've done you know i have spoken inappropriately and talked about bad things and whew. yeah it's yeah and this is just this is the thing right honestly guys I, yeah oh we'll, we'll bail you guys are bored and I'm bored. I'm good. But can I just say, seriously, that's that's that is the, the key. The key for autistic people is that if people are going to try and do things to help us, they should be bloody autistic. There should be autistic people as part of it. And we should actually like that got approved. What, what would you like your hundred thousand dollars for? I don't know. What do you? What do universities and big organisations get to do this? You tell me. I'm just going to make up a fee, right? What would you like a hundred grand for? Oh, we'd like to research self-compassion, autistic people, and self-compassion. Oh, take four hundred thousand. Do you know what I mean? Like seriously, give me a spell. So this is the key thing. Autistic people, we don't need reasonable adjustments or inclusion things, right? No, we don't need things. We need people. See, we don't need physical ramps to get around. We need people as the ramps, people to help us get around. Not ramps, people. Appreciation, understanding, compassion, people. But all we care about at the moment in the research field, in the academic field, in the autistic organisation field is coming up with more ways for autistic people to bring their own ramps, BYO ramps. Tell that to the community of people that use wheelchairs. Oh, man. And you know what? And you know, this is interesting, Nat. This isn't even about the social model. 
of disability, which in fact is probably not even appropriate for autistic people anymore. And that being that it's not me that disables me, it is society that disables me, right? The social model. The medical model is you're disabled, that's your fault, it's up to you to do what you got to do, right? That's the medical model, right? You diagnose, diagnose. Social model, it's the, it's society failing to include you or help you that is disabling you. Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going off, but it's fine. And, and the main issue with the, both of those are they both actually lie. So it is me who's disabling me if I have an, a medically diagnosed disability. That's just a fact. Uh, you don't have to class it as that. That's cool. But if I have a disability, then I am, I am, it is my brain disabling me, right? But that doesn't mean that it's just up to me. This is where it's this is where it becomes not about social and medical. This is actually where it comes down to neurodiversity, right? It's the idea that everyone is different. And therefore it's an, it's it's up to everyone to do their best to at least try to understand at some level and appreciate everyone for their differences, right? And work, work together as opposed to, no, well, there's one way of doing it, and that's that. The human rights model, which makes sense, the neurodiversity yeah, paradigm. The human rights model is interesting. Well, it's fair to say it's... This has been going for a long time, guys. I really, you, I, you, I should stop talking. Anyway, okay, so human rights is, you know what human rights are, okay? Let's just talk about basic human rights. So if autistic people are eight times, are, are eight times more unemployed than every other group in Australia, according to research in 2022 by the Senate, the government. Why is that? Is that because autistic people are eight times worse at jobs? Well, the answer would have to be no. And if the answer is yes, the answer is why are they? Okay. And then if that means that they're eight times less likely to be employed, that probably means that they are fired or don't get jobs a lot, which would be a breach of human rights, an opportunity a fair and equitable opportunity for employment, right? So you can't tell a blind person to read a non-inclusive, non-braille, whatever, read this document and then get back to us for the job. You know, do you see what I'm saying? Or a person in, in who's the wheelchair, as long as you walk up these stairs, you'll get an interview. But for autistic people, that actually happens. You will have a job interview and we will ask you neurotypical questions. We won't be giving you any allowances. You'll get a job and you'll work on a HR policy based on neurotypical minds, which you can't achieve. This actually happens. So from a human rights point of view, there are, you know, you have to ask the question, what types of human rights are autistic people currently receiving or even acknowledging? Anyway. Thank you, Rose. Thank you to everyone. I think it's Sammy. Again, you know, you you take what I say as as, as nothing but my personal thoughts and opinions because that's what they are. That's why if you go to my channel, it's about my personal. I can't I can't tell you what your thoughts are. This is not what the world should. This is just me, right? Anyway, so thank you so much for watching again, guys. And it's great to have Conan back for a Chrissy chat. And I, am not I didn't say you were Chrissy. I said it, I thought it was good to have you for a Chrissy chat. I'm saying goodbye. Do you want to come and say goodbye before we'll turn it off? Okay. I'm sure they appreciate that very rock solid no. Uh, yeah. Bye. Oh, you said bye? Thanks, Nat. Thanks, everyone. Um, are we going to do a... A New Year's Eve, or are we going to do an end of year one next week? Never. Never? Okay, they really want you to. 
So I'll tell them no. Merry Christmas, SK72. Bob, AC, Alex, Sargo, thank you. Go relax, mate. Take care, Sargo says. And that means a lot. But you realize it's 10.50 in the morning on a Friday. My wife's at work and I'm home with an eight-year-old autistic son. What was that about rest? <laughs> Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Delta. Storm Bryce, Nicole, Stranded, Nat. There's no, there's no rest, Nat. What, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> Handmade, Darcy, thank you. Edward, Sammy, Carol, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. When I talk to you next, hopefully it'll be um, before the end of this year, so before this time next next week or whatever, and we can have an end-of-year chat maybe. Um, thank you, Storm Bryce. Thanks, Japan. Zombie Spaceman, AC, everyone. Elijah. I really do appreciate it, guys. Put my feet up on the couch, she says. <laughs> what world are you living in? Uh, all right. Yeah, Conan just said, if you haven't hit the like button, he just yelled, if you haven't hit the like button, can you like before we turn this off? So if you haven't hit the like button yet, please hit the like button um, before we turn off the live stream. It's very important to him that he gets as many numbers as possible. He's a numbers guy. Anyway. Uh, Divergent, um, Sam, Darby, C. Blaney. Yeah, I, I won't be putting my legs up. I won't be putting my legs up and having a tinny uh, anytime soon. And if it is, I'll have to be gluten-free because that's the only beer I can buy because my wife's gluten-free. It's, it's a long story. He's a numbers guy. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, um, And also, thanks to how about thanks to the Aspie world. I, are you, you guys really reckon that was him? Anyway, the Aspie world, Dan, who's like a really amazing guy. So thank you so much for him coming on too. That was amazing. I did not expect that. Um, so you guys did that pretty much by you guys watching this and getting it attention. So thank you guys. You, nothing I can achieve is can be achieved without you, my friend. So thank you so much. You're amazing. Have, uh, yeah, this is my Christmas summer shirt. Um, one of my Christmas summer shirts, you like, me like. <laughs> Thanks, Stranded. Um, hey, guys, have a great Christmas. Or um, I hope you get a harmonica. Happy, happy. It's fun for every. All right. It's an Adam Sandler song. My apologies. Um, have a great holiday. It's a great Christmas, whatever you're celebrating. And um, give yourself some space and time and look after yourself because it's tricky. It's hard. I get it. And we'll talk really really soon i found your channel a month ago thank you so much is it asa asa i love hawaiian shirts yep i'll check yeah i'll do my best Woo! i'm stuffed man i'm out dude thank you so much for watching thanks so much for uh putting up with conan yeah he doesn't care no it's okay i'm, I'm saying bye see you guys have a great Christmas and, and or Festivus for the rest of us or whatever you celebrate and we'll talk soon. Appreciate support. Love you all. You're amazing. Thank you. You can check out the replay uh, of the chats and stuff to keep connecting. All right.